<laughs> yeah. Hi everyone and welcome back to Luxury Insider for Yachting International Radio. I'm your host Sarah Colvin and today I'd love to introduce you to aka Swoon Love Emma Worthington. Hi Emma. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Well what Emma and I guys were talking about and what we thought would be a really cool little episode um, is really giving some tips as to what to pack, what the ladies should pack for this charter season or whether you're heading out on your own yacht or just those little things along the way and who better to speak to than Emma. Um, Emma, can you tell us a bit about yourself to start with? Yes, I am Emma Worthington and um, my handle on Instagram is Swim Love. And I have been styling people for a very long time. Uh, I live in Yorkshire with my family, my uh, daughter and my son and my husband. And yeah, I've only been on a couple of yacht trips, but I definitely got it wrong the first time. So uh, <laughs> wanting to happy to help anybody with those mistakes that I made for sure. Oh, bless you. Well, you're the perfect person to speak to then, because I know myself, whenever I'm heading out for any work dues, I either overpack or underpack, or I really don't know what's going to happen. So let's start then. So what would you say are like the key pieces that, that we could pack if we're heading out on board? Well, it's a luxury holiday. You know, you've got to look the part. This is not, you know, you, you want to feel glamorous, but there are also lots of lunches. You may be going to uh, eat dining on board, off board. You need a selection, a variety of things. Um, the destination, destinations also dictate what you will pack. Um, for example, you know, if you were stopping off in Ibiza, you definitely need a little party number in your case. But I think that the best things for on board in particular are beautiful one pieces with um, you know gowns and caftans that you can just go and have lunch with on the deck or slip you know below deck and you're not you know messing about and fumbling around getting in and out of a dress um, super chic um, I'm thinking Alexandra Miro they, that would be oh, my go-to yeah. swimwear and um, you know brand for they're doing some beautiful silk gowns that are just so chic oh they are wow yeah that's yeah. definitely one i i pack in there so what do you think then if you've got a, like you're having a bit of a cocktail and drinks on board what would be the number that you'd pack um Again, it depends on the destination, but I went for the second time I went, which was much better in terms of how I got it right for my case and my packing, was white, floaty, mm. long, you know, no shoes on deck, just really, really comfortable. Um, it's not somewhere that you might want to feel um, wearing something too tight or uncomfortable. Um, I went for a lot of maxi dresses, a lot of jumpsuits, flowing wide leg jumpsuits. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed wearing that, that style of a dress. And even something like this, like a daily sleeper dress that you can slip on over your swimwear that, that's great for lunch. Uh, or if you, you, you know, you're getting off the yacht and you're wandering around um, you know, a town or a port or something, oh. that is perfect as well. I know. I remember I made my first boo-boo once where I was getting off, off the yacht and there I was and we we're in Portofino and I was like, oh, amazing, better put on my best shoes. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> I've only got these whopping big stilettos, yeah. no wedges, and I'm yeah. trying to stumble my way down, you know, the dock to try and get to this beautiful restaurant. And I thought, fail. I did not. Yeah. My well, shoes are the least important thing actually on this trip, yes. I feel. Because I you don't wear shoes on board. Um, you need some comfy shoes or, you know, some uh, espadrilles mm. or some beautiful um, slides for when you get off. And I packed my trainers to work out. So yeah. those were the only footwear. This is not a, you know, if you were going to a party or, you know, something like that, uh, saying, like we said, in Ibiza or something, you would need uh, a different shoe. But yeah, it's probably the holiday that I've packed the least shoes for. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, a, pair of, a pair of wedges, espadrilles, yeah. some really beautiful flats and some trainers if you like to work out and you'll be okay. Perfect. And what about any accessories? What kind of accessories would you take with you, you think, jewellery wise? Um, well, not just jewellery wise. You've got to think one mistake that I made was the hair. Oh. The hair's a problem on board, especially, you know, if you're dining on the top deck on an evening and, you you know, I don't look good with salty, sandy hair. I have very frizzy, dry hair. 
So some beautiful turbans and hats. You never have a bad hair day with a, a stunning uh, turban on, like, you know, the Mary Jane Claverell ones with the mm -hmm. pearls, so glamorous. And it doesn't matter what your hair looks like underneath. You're just going to look super chic. Um, huge hats for during the day. Um, I wore a lot of braids in my hair, actually, um, mm -hmm. just to stop that horrible yeah. windswept, windswept look that nobody wants to have uh, on a glamorous holiday. Um, but I'm an earrings girl all the way. I will always pack earrings over. I don't like lots of fussy bracelets. Uh, I feel like they get in the way, they're noisy, they clank it, and also you've got to take them off when you're putting sun cream on. Mm -hmm. I like a cuff and some statement earrings. Um, and then if you do wear your hair back and slick back and chic, you know, that, that gives some um, detail and some interest around the face as well. Yeah, good tip. Definitely. Yeah. That's one thing that I must admit I've, I've never done in the past, but I know the ladies will be thinking, right, okay, that's another thing to put on the checklist. Yeah, definitely, the turban, definitely. I know I've seen them on your Instagram as well. Like I'd never seen them before and they look fantastic, don't they? They are just divine and it doesn't matter what your hair's like underneath. No. You know? <laughs> it's just such a chic cheat that that is you know it's brilliant and they're just gorgeous and you know especially on an, uh, dining on an evening if you've you know if you've mm. been in the water on the jet skis and you know um if you're not lucky enough to have a hairdresser on board well, yeah. and you don't want to spend an hour and a half faffing around with your hair um put a chic turban on and a beautiful long maxi dress and you'll look amazing Oh, Emma, these are really wonderful tips. Thank you so, so much. And for all our viewers that are watching, um, you guys have to really touch base and connect with Emma on Swoon Love on Instagram. And Emma, you know, with everything going on at the moment, we were chatting just before about something to really, really look forward to. Um, so what are also your shopping tips? Uh, that you could give the ladies if they're really looking at kind of getting out there now and just grabbing some bits to really look forward to? Well, I think if people are uncomfortable going to the shops still, you know, the online service is amazing. And I, the majority of my shopping I do online. Um, I feel like it stops the impulse buying. You can try it on at home with things in your own mirror, um, not pressured. Um, and send it back if it's not suitable. I feel like that that is the way that I shop and um, I follow the other influencers and get um, mm -hmm. you know, information and tips and I'm always getting advice and you know, they influence me all the time as well. So yeah, find a few key people um, on Instagram or on Like To Know It that are your body shape, that are your style, whatever that may be. And then it's really easy to shop via them. That's, that's what their job is. That's what we're here for. Oh, that's wonderful. So the like to know it. Can you tell us so people go onto your Instagram page and what do they do? So yeah, um, say for example, I had to register with like to know it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I get an account. So for example, uh, this is a daily sleeper dress. So I can put a photograph on of this dress and you can just swipe up and buy it. You can follow me like you can um, on any social media. Mm -hmm. But what the great thing about it is, is I can put 16 other links on with this one. Well, there's a maximum of 16. So say, for example, if I put a designer piece on, I will look for some high street alternatives to people. Um, I can put all the accessories on. I can create a whole look with 16 links per one post so that you can buy the whole look. So it just makes life so much easier. And yeah, I, I do that all the time. It's great. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Well, we'll make sure that everybody jumps on and, and has a look. And Emma has kindly for the series um, lent me a few key statement pieces, which have been incredible, including this one. So thank you yep. so much for supporting us. You're welcome. You oh. look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, I look forward to everybody watching this and hopefully ticking some items off their list and uh, jumping on and following you and your great style journey. So thank you so much again, Emma, for joining us on Luxury Insider for Yachting International Radio. Thank you for having me.